What's up folks? Welcome to today's edition of Baggers and Brews. Here with the Baggers and Brew crew. Austin. What's up? George. Stacy. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> Carolyn's busy. We're gonna take you on a little trip today over to Forgotten Boardwalk, Cherry Hill, New Jersey Brewery and uh, sample some beers. None of us, I don't think any of us have been here, there, right? Nope. nope. Never okay. been to None of us have been there, even though it's just down the road. So we're going to check that out and uh, see what we think. So hang around. Forgotten Boardwalk, here we come. Say biscuity, I think. That's the word that I was looking for. That's the one. Biscuity, biscuit type. <laughs> biscuit <laughs> Lucky, yeah. 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 I want to play Scooball. It definitely tastes I like a cream ale. But it's really creamy cream ale. It is. It's not yeah. like, uh, it's almost like cream soda y kind of cream yeah. ale, right? It does taste a little cream soda y. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the 1916. This is there. Their, their flagship IPA. It smells great for you. Which one's the flagship? It's 1916 here. Oh, have I had that? Nope. Short sugar. Short sugar. Okay, now 6.9%. Very good finish. They're spot on. It is great fruity. It's fun. A little nice, nice bitter at the uh, nice bitter afterwards. I'm getting grapefruit. So what's the idea behind the name of this place? So uh, the owner, Jamie, she grew up hearing around the Asbury Park area. She grew up hearing all the tales of like uh, what the boardwalks were like in the early 1900s and all the stories and like little mysteries that happened in the dark confines of it. And she really wanted to kind of retell those stories through her beer. Uh, 1916 uh, IPA, I think it gives us the best example of her retelling a story. Uh, 1916 is the year all the great white shark attacks happened off the Jersey coast. Uh, they never knew if it was a single shark or a shiver, a group of sharks that committed those attacks. So we wanted to retell that There's story. There's a shiver but, right yeah. there. <laughs> excellent, by the way. Very wanted to excellent. retell that story by creating a beer that had a nice bite to it. It's one of the most widely told American horror stories, so we use the most widely used hop, Cascade, in there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a whole a slew of new theories about was it a bull shark because it was brackish water. Mm -hmm. So we use a bunch of newer contemporary hops uh, to kind of represent that. There's El Dorado, Comet, Denali, Hule Melon, Mosaic, 
and Mandarina Bavaria in there complimenting uh, the Cascade Hop. Um, it's just a very well-rounded IPA. You can drink it all day. It comes in at 6.9%, so it's not going to... You can yeah. definitely drink it all day. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a nice little bitterness. Not, yep. not crazy. Bitter, not crazy. Not exactly, like, yeah. You know, nice citrus. Mm -hmm. Yes. How old was Jamie when she opened? Uh, so I believe she was, I want to say 28, 29 that she opened up. Uh, like, uh, but she had also been home brewing and she kind of had that go big or go home moment uh, when she realized that she had uh, been losing a lot of her space in her apartment to brewing equipment. So, so does PJ's around the corner have any on tap? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think right now they've got what the butler's selling for amusement only, the Hoppy Wheat Pale Ale. Um, they're pretty good supporters of us. Everybody in the, the area is pretty good supporters of the beer. Um, and a lot of times if it's something seasonal, like Pocket Trick, once it hits the shelves, it's gone pretty quickly. Uh, so we do our best to you know, always restock or to really least, uh, or at least if we're releasing a new beer to get it out on all the social media to allow, let people know like, that it's going to be hitting shelves to grab it while they can. Cool. <laughs> so there it is, Forgotten Boardwalk. Awesome. I love heart. I loved it. It was great. Actually, I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Just thought they were like, you know, putting out beers all over the place and just average, but no, it was really good. I knew the funnel cake was good. Funnel cake was, I mean, you guys like that, but, but there were so many that were good. Everyone, that, that steel line from Austin, every one of them was great. But I, I didn't expect, I, you're right. I knew the funnel cake was good, but I didn't expect so much other stuff to be good. I mean, no. that was... All the IPAs were great. Um, the Belgian... Belgian Triple was really nice. Belgian Triple, Belgian Triple is so, beginning to be his thing. Hidden gem, this little place. I don't know if it's hidden and they have or not, ball. but um, they have ski ball. Definitely good stuff. Yeah, most definitely. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys ready? We're filming. We're filming? <laughs> We're filming. You mean I'm editing? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I found it. It's her. Should I talk into it like this? <laughs> it's about the beers. Beers. Baggers. <laughs>